Well, let's bring in former Secretary of Defense, Bill Cohen. Secretary, it's great to have you. So, so Israel has stated that the goal here is to eliminate Hamas. Is that, is that doable for them? Is that what you expect to happen? Uh, we don't know if it's doable, but it's mandated that they try. Um, Hamas cannot continue to exist uh, in militarily or even from a political point of view. You cannot have a, a terrorist organization dedicated to your elimination, your annihilation uh, on your border. So going back to the status quo, uh, it's not an option. So I think that the Israelis will have to go in. Uh, a lot of people are going to die as a result of this. Innocent people die. Uh, this is the nature of war. But the Israelis have said, we're not going back into the gas chambers again. You're not going to kill us a second time. So um, unfortunately, I feel a sense of outrage that what had happened with the Hamas killing so many innocent Israelis. I feel a sense of anger that it, uh, the Israelis allowed it to happen or failed to see it from happening. And I feel a profound sense of sadness of how many people are going to die. All those who have already died and how many more are going to die. I mean, so this well is uh, not a happy situation. No, and, and we're wondering about the larger forces in the region as well. Potential involvement of Hezbollah, potential involvement of Iran and Every, others. What, what is the likelihood, do you think, of this becoming even broader? I think the possibility is very high that this could spread quickly. Uh, well, you've got a fuse that's been lit over there. You've got uh, countries now, uh, possibly Hezbollah uh, in Lebanon. You have, you have Syria. You have Iran. And all of the countries in the region have something at stake here. If the fuse continues to spread and light and bomb, uh, then every country in the region has something at stake. All of those great, stable, modern UAE, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, they all have something at stake here if this continues to spread. So this is not just a regional conflict or a statewide conflict. This is a, in my estimation, it's potential competitive. I'm sorry, could potentially be a global conflict because if the price of oil spikes, as some have predicted it will, go as much as $150 a barrel, what does that do to you know, the world economy? And if you have a recession or depression, then all bets are off in terms of how that plays out. So there's much at stake. This is not just about the Israelis. It's about the security of the entire region. It's also, there has to be a, a plan here for the Palestinians. Um, Two-state solutions off uh, in the distance but it has to become a reality. And we have to make sure, working with the Arab countries in the region, that they're serious about helping the Palestinian Authority uh, gain respect, gain economic uh, support, uh, to make sure that they have a viable state as well. Otherwise, there's gonna be war going on forever. So we have, uh, we have to use diplomacy, but we also have to make it clear. Israel is not going away. This is not a question of to be or not to be. <laughs> Israel is to be. Uh, speaking of diplomacy, I'm wondering what kind of uh, marks you would give Blinken so far in his travels. Uh, the president appears to have canceled a trip to Colorado this week. More speculation about whether he goes into the area Wednesday or Thursday, perhaps. What would that do? Well, I think Tony Blinken, Anthony Blinken has been terrific. I think his statements, the passion that he has stated, uh, his, his views, his philosophy, his identification uh, with the Israelis, and also with the Palestinians. He's reaching out uh, to Mahmoud Abbas. He's reaching out to the Qataris. He's reaching out to those in the region who have so much at stake. So I give him very high marks. I give the president high marks for the way in which he has conducted himself and the statesmanlike uh, presentations he's made and the passion he's expressed. He wants to see a solution, a peaceful solution to, uh, to the Israeli-Palestinian uh, situation. So I give them both very high marks. But I must tell you, it's, we're going, we're going mm -hmm. some pretty hard times ahead.